Let's start by looking at linear regression as a way of developing a model for prediction. We may observe a particular trend and think that that trend might be the basis for predicting other behavior that we have not observed. For example, we may observe that when we give a dog a larger size treat, it wags its tail faster. If that were true, then we ought to be able to predict for any size of dog treat how quickly the dog will wag its tail. When we perform a linear regression on these data, we are fitting the model of a straight line that best fits through the set of points that we have measured. This method is called least squares. And the reason it's called least squares is because it minimizes the distance between the best fit line and each of the points that are in our data set. It finds the least distance between them and that's why it's called least squares. We have previously used a data set on women in development downloaded from the World Bank's data catalog at this URL. I've cleaned those data up and made them available on a GitHub gist. So you don't have to do the data cleaning yourself. All we have to do is read those data in as a data frame. We take a look at the data frame. We can see that the rows represent countries in the world and the columns represent a number of different quantities relating to male and female characteristics of those countries. What we would like to find out is if we can predict the female life expectancy at birth for a particular country based on the percentage of women who were first married by age 18. We are not asserting that there's any cause and effect between these two things. We simply want to look at the relationship and see if we can develop a predictor equation. We need to first get rid of any of the rows for which there are missing data on either one of these characteristics. If we look at female life expectancy at birth, we can see that there are some countries where those data are missing. And similarly, if we look at the percentage of women that are first married by age 18, there are also a lot of missing data in that column as well. So we are going to perform a filter to filter out only the rows where there are not NAs in those rows for one column or the other column. We also need to use only the first 217 rows because the last rows in the table are actually summary for the entire world and different regions of the world. So we only want to go to the last country, which is Zimbabwe, in row 217. So I've set up a pipe here where we take the first 217 rows, filter out the NAs from those two columns, and then put those data into a new data frame called WB underscore data. If we click on that data frame, we can see now that none of the values in the female life expectancy at birth or percentage of women first married at age 18 now have missing values. We can also see that a number of rows are no longer present in the data because those rows were taken out. There's uh, fewer rows and also the summary data are not there as we intended.